Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and today we are going to be doing my hair growth update. A few months ago, I think it might have been early November, I uploaded this video where I talked all about wanting to go on this hair growth journey. My life right now is all about going through like all these different journeys and I feel like that's kind of what my YouTube channel has become. But my hair looks like it has grown quite a bit since that last video and I talked about all these different things that I wanted to be doing to my hair and I'm not gonna lie I haven't done much I did everything I had mentioned as far as like the different products I was using I'm still using all the same products for the most part and then today we are starting a six week hair growth course I am just so excited to take you guys along to show you like the different products that I'm using and it's a part of the henna sook hair course um so it's all ayurvedic products all natural and we are going to see what happens to my hair does it get healthier does it get shinier stronger weaker longer i don't know we will see what happens <laughs> but before we get into that i just wanted to kind of talk about the things that i had been doing to my hair over these past few months that has kept it so healthy i have never gone a winter with such healthy hair in fact i have this one video from i think it was last winter or the year before probably last winter where i was showing you like my current hair care routine and i used so much oil in my hair because it was just so dry and my hair now is like like super super healthy I've never had my hair look and feel so shiny and healthy and actually is growing so I have one thing that I think has attributed all this success to and I'll leave that for last one thing that I've been using is this Paul Mitchell super strong liquid treatment I've been using this religiously um, after every shower I spritz this all over my hair and I love it. I think it works wonders. So I'm going to link all this stuff in the description box, but I was going to say definitely go out and grab yourself one of these because it has changed the game for me. Another thing that I have been using on my hair after I get out of the shower is this uh, AG Hair Care Fast Food Leave On Conditioner. I got this in the Spring Fab Fit Fun box, which I am obsessed with. By the way, I've been getting FabFitFun. I think I got it twice before. And this video isn't sponsored or anything, but I do have a coupon code for you guys to get $10 off your first FabFitFun box. I don't think I've done many treatments and I also haven't done the inversion method, which I said I was gonna do. But the one thing that has changed my hair's life is this, this sleep satin sleep is a lifesaver. I think the reason why my hair felt like it was never growing is because even though I have like silk pillowcases, my hair would be rubbing on itself all night long and, it, and I would wake up and it would have knots all in it. I'll show you how I do it. My mom says I look like a baker when I wear it, but I basically take my hair, twist it around my finger like this and put it in like that and it keeps my hair so so healthy like I a thousand percent recommend a sleep cap like this a satin one they're so good for your hair so what is my starting hair length I have my paper measurer and we'll do the same piece as we did last time all right so my hair is I just ripped it my hair is 14 inches. Oh, also I have been trimming my hair every few weeks, I think every six weeks. So I've done this, I think three times, um, has been to just trim a very, very small amount of my hair off. So on week one, we started out with the Cassia Curls in Moisture Mask. And just look at how I nearly spilled this all over the floor. Like, can you even imagine? <laughs> so this was my hair to start. Um, I had dyed it like the day before, so it looked like so much better here than in the end. But um, yeah, so I just wet my hair and put it over top. Um, it's really important to have wet hair when you're putting these masks on because it does dry down and gets really crumbly. So yeah, in order to wash it out nicely, it's like way better to have wet hair. So I just left it on for about an hour and this was it the next day. Um, it looked super shiny and healthy and I really want my hair that red again. <laughs> 
So now we are on week two and week two revolves around making a hair growth oil. And I don't have to make one because I have one right here, but in the course, it gives detailed instructions on how to actually make this Ayurvedic hair growth oil with this box of Moroccan hair tea. My hair has been getting a little bit more dry um, with the weather. I feel like I cursed myself by saying that I haven't had dry hair. It's definitely not as dry as it was in the previous years, but it definitely is looking like it needs a trim soon, unfortunately. All right, so I'm obviously gonna focus this mostly at my roots, but I'm also gonna do the ends as well. So I'm just gonna, I guess, go like this. I don't really know how much comes out. Oh, a lot comes out, okay. Well, this little nozzle thing, makes it so nice i always feel super awkward watching myself being sped up so i'm just gonna make voiceovers through these parts <laughs> this video was really great and i'm excited to keep doing this by the way i'm just gonna let this sink into my hair for about an hour or two okay so i just got out of the shower and at the same time i'm doing my skincare routine because i want to go to bed soon i'm so tired so because I washed my hair with my normal shampoo and conditioner, I'm going to show you the products that I do always use on my hair when I get out of the shower. So I first start out with the Paul Mitchell Super Strong Liquid Treatment. This, I'm like almost out of it. I feel like this is what has kept my ends in pretty good shape this winter. When my hair is wet, I always use a wet brush. And then I always go in with the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. This is also like a heat protectant also, and it does make my hair really soft. So I use like a quarter size amount. And I got this in my FabFitFun box in spring i think I'm definitely gonna rebuy it once i run out because i just love it so much i'm going in with the fast food leave on conditioner um by ag hair care um and i'm not sponsored by fat Fit fun but i am a partner of them so if you did want to try a box like you've been looking into getting it and thinking if it's worth it it's <laughs> so worth it this video isn't sponsored by them but if you did want to try out a fabfitfun box you can use the code violetta for ten dollars off your first box which is a really good deal if you've been wanting to try it definitely do that i don't get anything from saying that but it's just giving you guys that coupon code so it's the next day and i wanted to just show you how my hair looks after doing the hair growth oil so right now I'm gonna insert some pictures of me earlier in the day in the sun. My hair looked so long and not like to say that this is obviously from this course because it's not. Um, but I had not noticed like how long my hair had gotten in the back for a long time. So it kind of like shook me a little bit, <laughs> which makes me really excited that this is like an update for my hair growth journey from a few months ago that my hair had grown that much, especially in the back. In the front, it's harder to tell. But yeah, this is how it looks. It's really shiny. I really do like that hair oil. And I'm gonna be doing it probably once a week from now on. So now let's go on to week three. So we are now on to week three and we are doing the Ayurvedic scalp and root mask. I've tried this mask before and I love it. So I'm excited to do it. It's really good for promoting hair growth because it has like cassia and brahmi, I think is what it's called, and neem, and like a lot of really great herbs and oils and stuff for your hair. Okay, so it's all wet and damp. When I wash this out, because I'm not actually washing it, washing it, I'm gonna do a co-wash, which I really don't know much about co-washing, but it's not like using like traditional shampoo and conditioner. This is from Henna Sook also. I've had this for a long time and I haven't used it a lot um i just kind of prefer to wash my stuff out with my shampoo and conditioner if you've ever been around a baby who um you know poops it looks like that <laughs> but it smells good on the plus side it really smells <laughs> really great um i hope that i didn't ruin like the visual of this um but if you know what i mean it's definitely 
baby poop like. So I personally feel like these masks are way too heavy on my hair, the ones that dry down because when my hair is wet it's so fragile and I feel like it just might be weighing it down too much, it's hard to wash out. But the other masks that I do from Henna Sook, like the Coco Veda coming up, is so much better. It's already like 8.30 at night, so I'm just going to leave it on for an hour, and then I'll be back to show you the results tomorrow. So this is the result of that mask. My hair still looks really healthy and shiny, but this is just when I started to realize that maybe it was too much for my hair to be doing masks every single week. Are you just the cutest boy in the world? Huh? So my dog's chewing his bone, so ignore that. But today is week four of the Ayurvedic hair growth challenge or course. I think of it as like a challenge. And I'm not gonna lie, I have not washed my hair in a week. So week four is also the oil treatment. Um, I think the course was a little confusing to me in my opinion, mainly because I think I think week two was more about like making the oil rather than doing it and maybe once you make it it takes like two weeks for it to be ready for week four I didn't I don't know um regardless I still have my oil so I'm gonna do another oil treatment because I really liked it and that's what it says to do so how are you guys doing during this world event that's going on um my area is pretty not good i don't know if you guys know where westchester county is in new york but it's pretty much like i think it has like the most cases in the country of the virus okay so i'm gonna leave this in my hair i might wash it out tonight i might leave it in for tomorrow regardless i'll be back i'm wearing like the same sweatshirt in every single clip but i promise it's not the same day <laughs> So it's a few days later. I did forget to show you like right after I washed it out, but you guys had already seen from week two, like what it did to my hair. Um, I have to go wash my hair now because it's greasy. I've been outside all day working out and blah, blah, blah. Again, I figured I would just show you what it looks like. It's still super shiny. Um, it feels really healthy. I think this is like my favorite from Henna Sook that I've tried, um, even though it's kind of like you make it yourself. The recipe is in the course. I definitely recommend making this yourself. I'm going to make it at some point. Maybe I'll make like a whole another video on making like hair growth oil uh, being this and see how it goes. I just didn't have time in this specific video because I want to get it up now. But yeah, I will see you guys next week. We are officially on week five and I feel like the world is ending. <laughs> Does anyone else feel that way? It's a little crazy. This week, um, we are doing the Coco Veda hair mask. It's infused with five hair strengthening herbs. All right, so it is 841, so I'm only gonna leave it in for an hour. Um, I don't know if it said to leave it on wet hair. I'm just gonna dampen it. I just feel like I need to. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Leave comments letting me know what's going on in your life at the moment. When this comes out, things are probably gonna be way crazier than they are at the moment. So I really liked this Coco Veda mask. It didn't dry down, so it didn't like weigh my hair down when I was washing it out. It washed out super easily, so it made my fine hair much more happier. So it's the next day and this is how my hair came out. I say this in every single clip and I'm so sorry. But this is how it came out. It came out so shiny. I I think this is equally as great as the honey mask that I love. It made my hair so silky. It's so soft and it feels so nourished. Like I can tell my hair really likes it. And it was so easy to wash out and that's why I really liked it. It was like, it didn't like turn into crumbles on my hair um, once it dried. It kind of just washed right out and was super silky and great. So I am gonna go grocery shopping uh, because coronavirus, am I right? Like I need to get food, I need my paycheck and this is a scary time to be alive. <laughs> So here we are on week six of this hair growth challenge. Um, hmm, 
my personality is not probably going to come through as it normally would um but i'm gonna try yeah i'm a little spacey at the moment if you know yeah <laughs> i have no words i really have no words i think a lot of us are in the same situation where you just are like super unsure of what's happening uh tomorrow let alone in six months so hang in there everybody we'll <laughs> we'll get through this so here's me doing my hair <laughs> i don't know yeah super like trivial in comparison to what's happening in the world but i feel like that's what youtube is for sometimes i think in week six week six is supposed to be the goddess hair mask i don't have that for whatever reason but i have a second casio curls and moisture which i think was what i did in week one it wouldn't be appropriate without the sweatshirt I wear in every single clip. So part of me wonders if this is too much for my hair. I know it's like a six week hair course, but my hair is really fine. So I don't know if this is actually helping or hurting my hair. I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm doing what it says to do. Another thing I wanted to mention is obviously the world is a little crazy. I am working from home at the moment, but you know, it's like, you never know what's gonna happen. So YouTube may be like my main source of income for a while, like maybe over, I don't, we don't know what's happening. And that's why I'm saying like, we gotta like take a deep breath, like no need to panic, but we don't know how long this is going on for. What do you wanna see from me because it really sucks that I made this like whole studio. However, I'm here. I have my ring light. I have my vlog camera. I have some stuff and I can work with it. But I feel like a lot of people on the internet are going to be in the same position where they're not going to be able to like get good B-roll. And like, I feel like videos are kind of going to go back to like old YouTube in a way. I was also thinking because I've done this for myself recently is to create meditations and kind of like self hypnosis tracks. I wonder if you guys would like if I created a space to put some things like that for you to buy for like two dollars. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Like, cause I feel like now is like, a t how many times can I say like? I feel like now is the time where we really need to just stay present and making those accessible to you guys for like a dollar or two, I'm sure would help a lot of people and also be helping me out in the same way. Yeah, it's weird how like from last week to now, things are so different. So let me know what kinds of videos you want to see from me uh, in the meantime, because like I said, this may become my only source of income for a little bit. So this is my hair at the end of the six week course. Again, I feel like it was a little too strong for my hair for every single week. I think it would have been so much better for me personally if I did it every two weeks. The hair growth oil was amazing and I want to do that like once or twice a week for my hair because my hair just loved it so much. I feel like because it was a lot for my hair, it doesn't feel as silky as it normally does. So I'm just going to measure my hair to see if anything changed. My hair grows really slow so I'm not expecting anything to change. Like based on the first video I did, I think it was in the beginning of December, I think my hair might have grown like two inches since then, which would be about a half an inch a month. Um, so if you can see like this is like the bottom of my boob and this is like my nipple. <laughs> so that's cool that it does come down that far because I've never had my hair that long. I'm wearing a sports bra, but normally my bra strap would come to about here, uh, which is where my hair lands, which is so exciting. You wanna come in? He's so happy we're um, at home. <laughs> Thank God I didn't. Oh no, I lost an inch. I was gonna say, at least I have this. <laughs> and it's not at my studio. Um, all right. I think it was at 14 inches when I started this. <sighs> it's at 14. But I don't know what this is. Like, 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> did my hair grow? I can't, I can't tell. But I did have fun doing this video. If you guys are interested in any of the henna soap products, um, I always have a code for them. It's Courtney20 for 20% off of everything. So just use that code whenever you want to get a discount. And if you haven't tried FabFitFun yet, definitely do. You can get $10 off your first box with the code right here. This wasn't sponsored by either companies, but yeah. It was fun to make. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos since this is going to be like my only job fairly soon, I'm sure. And follow me on Instagram at Court Violetta and I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye!